right, my next guest, a very funny performer who will be starting her fourth season on Saturday Night Live this fall. Please welcome Ellen Cleghorn. <laughs> Is this Harrison's cup or your cup? No, that is my cup. Oh. No, oh, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, his cup is out being bronzed. Ah, he kissed me backstage. Oh, did you he know, kiss you? Right in my mouth. Oh. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> he did. Are, are you a big fan? You like his movies? I love his movies. I'm the biggest fan. And I've, you know, I'm not really like a Star Wars fan or anything, but I'm like from the Raiders of the Lost Ark yeah. series. Yeah. That's my favorite. So when he was kissing me, I told him it's never gonna work between me and you, Harrison. <laughs> because all the women in his movies, doesn't something tragic happen to them? <laughs> right? Like in um, Presumed Innocent and all those movies. Yeah, they just get murdered or beat Patriot up. Patriot Games, murder, beat up, pimp slap, something happens to them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I never look at it that way. Yeah. See, you gotta look with a woman's eye, Jay. Yeah, I guess that's it. I, if I, I stay in this town long enough, I probably See, so will. now I don't care. <laughs> you, uh, now, Kevin claimed that, that uh, you were flirting with him last Let time. Let me tell you, Ke <laughs> Harrison Ford was backstage, okay? <laughs> Mira, let me tell you, he's buff. Make him take his jacket off. No. This guy is buff. No, well, we don't, uh, I don't think it's fair to make him take his clothes off. I think he's had a... No. Besides, his mom is in the audience tonight, though. So she should know what her son looks like. <laughs> I, think she, I think she probably After has a good all idea. This time. Ellen, yeah, you take uh, yours off, I'll take mine off. Let's oh. do it, baby. <laughs> He's been in bikinis and negligees on the show. Oh, this is, you know, they Can you tell he's seen. bluffing? Is, is that like the most frontingest guy you ever met? <laughs> Put your skirt you down, Al. Put your skirt down. What have you been doing over the summer? Is this your time off? What are you... I don't know what they're laughing at, but no, I'm no, glad they're laughing. I think your gesture is. <laughs> have you been dating? What are you doing this summer? Well, I went to um, Detroit this summer. Lovely downtown yeah. Detroit. Detroit in the summer is beautiful. It's beautiful. like Paris in the springtime. It's like Paris, yeah. And um, I went because I'm continental. And uh, yeah, because my cousins, everybody, we were having a big family reunion. Oh, that's and nice. Everything. It, was, it was really cute. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was like around the 4th of July. And so the, I hear all these fireworks and everything going off. So I want to go see. And I was staying at my cousin's house. And I went outside. And I'm like, where, where are the fireworks? She's like, that's a drive-by. And uh, <laughs> I had to say it. It's all right. <laughs> do your relatives drive you crazy? Is it fun, oh, or, or do you just kind of? Well, well, not all of my relatives. Like, I fell in love with my cousin when I was in Detroit. My cousin Frank, he's so cute. I fell in love with him. Is but that legal? Really... You could fall in love with your cousin. He's my cousin by marriage. Oh, so that's, so that's okay. okay. That's yeah, okay. because they do that in royalty in England. They marry their cousins yeah, all the time. Well, you look at them, I rest my case. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So no. you really fell in love with this guy? I am, I, I'm crazy about him. He's yeah. so handsome and everything, but he's been in rehab twice, and that's my limit. Uh -oh. So, uh... <laughs> well, I'm sure, I'm sure you announcing it on TV won't send him over the edge. Oh, he's going over the edge right now. It, it's strict family when you were growing up? Are oh. your relatives old Yeah, everybody's fashion? really old-fashioned. My father is, like, really strict, and we were all scared of him. I was petrified because he worked at the post office. <laughs> You never knew when he was gonna snap, you know? <laughs> so you didn't want to get him upset. I can see the wisdom of that, yeah. And my yeah. mother is just like so religious. We went to church every Sunday, and she's like so religious. Like she and she just got cataracts. She had cataracts and she just got them operated on. Oh. And her vision is so good now. She swears she sees Jesus coming back. <laughs> and she's and she just sits out the window now with her new vision and she looks out and she just like comments on everybody. She's like, oh, they go marry. She got a new car. <laughs> That's why our kids are so skinny. And, um... <laughs> now, Sometimes you have to wait, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I, I, 
I'm trying to picture you in church. Were you, were you in the choir or I was like a that? choir singer? How could you tell? Just the way you're sitting made me think you're in church. Yeah. I know. Oftentimes, when I'd look in the next pew, there would be a woman with her leg up behind me in a, in a short dress. This is... What kind of church did you go to? Uh, very uh, reformed. Yeah. <laughs> So you were in the choir? I was in the choir, and I, we were Episcopalian at the time, because my mother changes religions all the time as soon as she runs out of outfits. And uh, <laughs> so at the time, we were Episcopalian, and um, you have to take communion, Holy Communion. Right. But you can't eat before. You, people who know this, you can't eat before you take communion, right? Because mm -hmm. it's the sacrament and everything. And so we would be in the choir singing. If, did you ever sing like early in the morning or no breakfast? Just like singing and hyperventilating at the same time. Oh, oh, and I'll just like fall out. And people would think I caught the spirit. <laughs> but I didn't. I just needed some French toast. <laughs> so you went every week? Every Sunday. I was in church every Sunday. And the organist was this 80-year-old woman, well, 90 or 80 or something like that, some octogenarian age or something. And she just would hit all the keys at the same time. But God love her, she was 90, the Teller Sisters, and they used to play. And that's why it took me a long time to sing, because I would just like be singing all the notes all at once. <laughs> totally flat and off key. Well, it's good to see all the religious training has paid off. Yes! Yeah. I'm a good Christian girl, a good, Kevin. Good Christian girl. There you go. Good Christian girl, Kevin. There you go. Shame on him trying to get you to take your top off. Ellen Claycorn, be right back with Travis Tripp. Right after this.